So today I'm going to be testing out some of the internet's most viral football products over the past 10 years. Over the past decade there's been a lot of football products that have broken the internet. So today we're going to be putting some of the most viral football products to the test to see if they deserve the hype. So the first product we're going to be taking a look at today is the Adidas Jabalani. First being unveiled in December of 2009, the Adidas Jabalani was the latest innovation from Adidas for the upcoming 2010 World Cup. Adidas stated that their new 8 panel design meant that this ball was the roundest ever, but just months after the ball's release, this ball wrote headlines. Keepers hated it, coaches didn't want to use it, and it undoubtedly made its way into the football history books. So I headed down to the pitch to test it out and see if it was really worth the hype. After taking the Jabalani out for two free kick sessions, it was pretty clear to see what all the fuss was about. The Adidas Jabalani is extremely unique in the way it moves, and when it goes up, it usually doesn't come down. And while the Jabalani wouldn't be my first choice match ball, it is still pretty fun to play with and get nostalgic over. Fast forward to 2016 now and Adidas were back again with yet another innovation but this time it was their newest laceless football boots. Adidas's main selling point of these boots was that the laceless surface meant a much cleaner striking surface. So I headed to the football pitch to put one of their latest laceless models to the test and see if they can outperform a lace pair of football boots. So after using both the laced and laceless boots for a decent amount of time, I can honestly say there was no difference between the two boots when it came to shooting. So jumping forward to 2017, the Swerve Ball is the next viral product we're going to be taking a look at. The popularity of this ball blew up in 2017 after being used by channels like the F2 and Kieran Brown, and its packaging even shows that it's got over 100 million views on YouTube. Alright, time to try out this Swerve Ball, and if I'm going to be honest, I'm not expecting much from this thing. So, yeah, this was pretty much a beach ball. I can understand why it's fun to play with, but this thing was impossible to get any power behind. And outside of the initial 10 minutes of fun I got with this ball, it was pretty much pointless. Next up we have the Boot Buddy. This product actually first appeared on TV, and with the rise of TikTok, this thing skyrocketed in popularity over the past couple years. So it was time to go to the pitch and put this thing to the test. So after getting our boots as dirty as we could at the pitch, we headed home and put the boot buddy to the test, and this was easily the best product we've used yet. Finally today we have glove glue. Glove glue has gotten millions of views on TikTok and apparently takes goalkeeper grip to the next level, so it was time to put it to the test. Starting off, we just got a quick feel for the gloves with no product on them before covering these things in glove glue. And while the grip did get noticeably better, it's not going to help you become a better keeper. 